Good morning, boys and girls. Today we're going to learn how to draw a dragon, just like the dragon from the story, Dragons Get Colds Too. You will need a piece of paper, a pencil, and an eraser. Lay the paper sideways so that it's long. Starting in the top right, you're going to make a little curved line with a bump and then a line back up to make the top of the head. Then we're going to draw back down to make the bottom part of his mouth and curl it back up for the jaw. Next, we're going to add the horns for the top of his head. So we'll draw one in first, remembering to make a little pointy part at the end. And then we draw the other one right beside it. Next, we're going to add his ear. And then draw in the back of his head going down for his neck. Now we'll draw in his nose. and add an eye. You don't have to color the eye in. I colored mine in black, but you could color yours in any color with any marker that you'd like. Now we're going to start on the wing. So we're going to make a little U shape, and then we're going to make a really long line coming up on the front and another one at the back. So this dragon's wing is going to look a lot like the bats that we drew in the fall. So we're drawing these long shapes that are like his fingers and we're going to have four of them all together. So they should be very long and very skinny kind of like finger bones and then we're going to attach the wings and we make kind of a U shape going in between each long bone. So it kind of looks like a bat's wing as well. Now we're going to draw in the neck. So we're going to draw down and we actually have two lines that come down because we're going to draw part of his belly and his belly has some scales on it. Then we'll draw a line down and back up for a leg. And we'll draw in the other front leg. You can only see the very tip of it though because it's on the other side of his body. And then we can add some little sharp claws if you like. Then we're going to follow where our line would have gone down for the stomach. And we're going to add the back leg. And then we keep doing his tummy and it's going to curl along into a very long tail. And then we want to add the other part of his stomach going down. And it follows the same line and it gets skinnier until it gets to the end. And then we're going to add some lines on it to make them like the scales on the bottom of his tummy. So as we put our lines in, you don't have to go quite as quickly as I am, but I want you to notice how the lines turn. Every time there's a, a cur curve in the body, the lines kind of turn as well. So they're not always straight up and down. Sometimes they're sideways. Then we have to remember to put some nails on his back foot and draw in his other hidden back foot and add some nails onto that too. Next, we're going to add his back and the top of his tail, and it's going to follow the same sort of curved line, and it just gets skinnier and skinnier until it reaches the point of his tail. And then, if you want to, you can turn your paper sideways for this. We're going to add the very tip of the tail, and it's kind of like drawing a heart. Now, I drew mine pretty big, and then I drew a smaller one inside. I think if I were to do it again, I would just draw a small one instead of both that you can decide which way you like it the best.
Okay, and now we're going to add some details. So I'm just going to put some big black dots and small black dots just to give him some extra features. Now if you decide that you want to outline your picture, if you're not using a permanent marker, I'd recommend doing your coloring first and then outlining. Because if you outline first and then color, and you haven't used a permanent pen, sometimes your colors will just get all mushed up with that black that you outlined with, and it kind of looks a little muddy. So the last step here that I had forgotten about was to add some spikes going down his back. So to make it a little easier, I turned my page as I was drawing them. And it makes it a little easier to keep that shape. So the dark green around the edges that I did kind of gives him a little bit of shadow, but you can decide if you'd want to do that or not. And I'm really excited to see what your dragons look like and what colors you decide to use for yours. Have fun.